Hello everyone. Today we're going to make text animation using Adobe Animate CC 2019. So this is what we're going to have. So as the black text is coming in, fading in and rotating, invert and then white background turns to black and the black text turns to white. Invert. So it is inverted now. So let me replay it invert invert okay so let's get started so first go to file make a new document <coughs> excuse me we're not gonna change anything just yet we're going to use the default setting 640 by 480 pixel 24 frames per second and HTML5 canvas and create yeah, since my screen is too small, I will zoom out a little bit. So seventy percent. Okay, so first we need a text. So I'm going to choose impact ninety-six point. Uh, just to let me type invert. Okay, and then so a black text on white background. Uh, to arrange it in the center, so let me open a line check the align to stage button and vertically and horizontally center so it is centered now okay so as we saw that the each letter is animating separately so uh, what we need to do is we're going to ungroup all, all these letters into an individual letter and we're going to assign individual layer per letter so go to modify break apart so there are one two three four five six letters now and then <clears throat> go to modify and then go to timeline and distribute to layers so this function will uh, make individual layer for individual letter just like this and the very top layer uh, we don't need it anymore so just delete it okay so now we are ready to animate it but before we do that normally what I do is I always select all the letters and I apply the uh, break apart again another modify and break apart and it will turn your letters into graphics it's like uh, create outlines in Illustrator it's the same thing the main reason is uh, with the graphics, we can have more options, more uh, changes, and then uh, we can change the opacity value. You know, there are more things we can do. So that's why. And then, so since we're going to animate individual letter, we're going to apply motion twin one by one. So from the bottom layer, I insert motion twin. Okay. Insert motion twin for the next letter insert motion twin just to repeat insert motion twin insert motion twin and the last one insert motion twin so my play head playback had this red box is on uh, one second mark and then select all layers then insert the keyframe by clicking this insert keyframe if you're using um, Anime CC 2018 there is no um, this button uh, you will just need to insert a keyframe under the insert menu timeline and keyframe or F6 key but um, so this is the latest version so just click on this so we have a second keyframes and then I think this 24 frames uh, for this one animation is kind of too long so I'm going to make it a little bit fast by reducing numbers of frames down to 10 all together okay so now I'm ready to animate it starting from the uh, the very first letter I so on the bottom layer select the letter I on your stage click on your transform panel uh, make sure the width and height linked constraint so we can keep the same proportion I'm going to make it 500% it's pretty big 
and I will rotate 90 percent no no I mean I mean 90 degree and then uh, so this is what we have okay but I want to add more and more kind of like a <coughs> excuse me fitting in effect so on frame number one click on your eye make sure you click that on your stage now check your properties panel and the color effect change the color effect style to alpha starting from the zero percent of alpha value now check the last keyframe still this is a zero percent so select the eye even though um, we do not see anything but you can see that kind of a blue outline meaning there's your eye then now properties channel uh, the panel shows me at alpha value again now move up to 100 so starting from 0 and ending at 100% 0 to 100 0 to 100 once you're done lock this layer so we can interrupt uh, so we don't have to worry about the um, the first letter so our uh, second layer my letter n click on letter n open the transform panel 500 i'm going to insert i mean the add um, put the same amount and 90 degree angle and color effect alpha from 0 to 100 lock the layer now letter v third letter click on letter v open transform panel 500 percent rotate 90 degree angle starting the alpha value from 0 percent to oops back to 100 so three letters done lock the layer from the beginning letter e open transform 500 percent so i'm repeating the same routine 90 degree angle rotation and alpha value from 0 to back to 100 lock the layer beginning letter r open transform 500 percent 90 degree angle alpha value starting from 0 to 100 lock the layer now last letter T from transform panel 500 percent 90 degree angle and alpha from 0 to okay and then let me unlock all the layers now you will notice that uh, the baseline of this individual letter is kind of slightly shifted I don't know why this is happening so um, let me select all on the LS keyframe and open the align panel uh, uncheck align to stage I'm going to just the online vertical center so it is all lined up now just like this okay so it is okay but um they are kind of um coming in all together at the same time but um as i showed you i want to give a kind of a little bit different timeline so uh first layer i i'm not going to change it from, from the second layer n select the layer and grab the whole segment and drag it to the right five more frames like this same way for the V the third layer select the layer uh, grab the whole segment and drag it now up to 20 so five more so we're making some kind of a steps E layer grab it five more next layer grab it five more frames the last layer grab it and move it to five more frames so it has a kind of a, like a chain reaction like a dominoes game problem is 
previous letters are gone. So at the last keyframe, we only see the letter T. So in order to keep other letters, the previous letters, select the last frame from the, your second layer and hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layer. So all these five layers kind of um, highlighted and insert the keyframe by clicking this or F6. So uh, this is what we have now. Okay, so this is done. And next step is, once it is done like this, I want to have uh, the whole word invert. It's kind of uh, expanding, extending, and disappearing. And then also at the same time, black text that turns to white and the background turns to black. So we can have an inverted color. So we're starting from um, black text on white, but we are ending white text on black background. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, my playhead on the, uh, uh, at, the, at the end, the last keyframe, select all from your stage and then go edit menu and copy. Now make a new layer on top right after the last keyframe of your the current uh, animation so in my case 36 here insert timeline blank keyframe so it's nothing's there and then we copied the whole word invert so go to edit menu paste in place see Okay, and then on this new layer, insert, I'm going to insert a motion twin, and maybe a, another 10 frames, like a 45. Let me insert a keyframe. Nothing's changing yet. Okay, we're going to make some changes. And then I'm going to have another one. So, select your the layer 8, in this case, the top layer, the new one, and then hold down the control key or right click and we're going to see the copy frames copy frames okay now make another layer highlight the frame the frame 36 hold down the control and paste the frames oh Control, paste frames, just like this. Okay. So uh, these top two layers exactly the same one. What I'm going to do is let me lock the top layer. From the bottom one, let me select the word invert, and then click on transform, or you can do that. Or let me. This is going to be easier. Use your, uh, your free transform tool from your toolbox. And then at the end, your playback hat is uh, at the end. And just extend it like that. So this happens. Okay. And then also at the same time, I'm going to change the alpha value at the end of this big extended word alpha value down to zero so it is fading out expanding and fading out okay and the next one is I just need to invert the color of my text so let me unlock this top layer at the end click on my invert the word on the last keyframe let me change the color effect style to tint value and then I choose my I choose my tint color to white and tint value is 100% it doesn't look okay for me because it was to have a white background so the the only thing I need to add is 
I just need to add the yeah, as a black background behind. So let me add new layer. Highlight that keyframe, uh, the, the frame where we start the other new animation here, in my case 36, and then insert, timeline, blank keyframe, and let me draw black square, I mean the rectangle. So I set my fill color to black, then no stroke color. Let me draw that like this. So it seems to cover everything. And now, move this layer down to the first invert the new text. I'm going to rename it as black background, black BG. So this happens. So it's okay, but um, uh, my black background is just kind of a flat, it just pops up, which is not good. I want to have a smoother transition. So. Let me highlight the first keyframe of my black background. Insert motion twin and insert a keyframe. Now what we're gonna do is on my first keyframe of my this black background, let me change the alpha value down to zero. And at the end, back to hundred. So kind of fading in. Just like this. So um, black letters coming in onto white background. And once it's set, white background turns to black. And then invert the whole text, expanding and disappearing. And another inverted text on top layer, converting to inverting to white text. So we have invert, a uh, white text on black background. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.